You see, just like Jesus turned water into wine, Simon is gonna turn orange juice into slightly colder orange juice. Let's get started. I think you're wrong. Frozen orange juice is totally ice cream. You know, not only is it frozen, it's sweet and it's fruit flavored. That's kind of ice cream. A bunch of Pelfier modules, I'm just gonna call them P modules. Massive heat sinks, but there is, there is still a few more parts that we need. Okay, I think now might be a good time to uh, give you an idea of what's going on up here. Na, 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 na. My idea that, that miserably failed was to use the stepper motors, and, and I've taken them apart. There are things in here that I cannot remove unless I'm an, a metal bender. And the good thing is that a P-module sits very comfortably. If you stack a couple of these together, it sits very comfortably on the edge like this. It got a straight, uh, straight edge and it got a lot of thickness to the material, so uh, once we pour the juice in here, it should uh, solidify right away. But you could see this, but you could see this being a problem if the mold was circular like this, there is no way to mount the Pelfi module. Okay, I think this is what we need. Oh yeah, that, w that will work right there. I don't blame you. Uh, okay, I don't blame you. It's been mildly confusing to this point, but it's all gonna change here. We're gonna place this here, and that's, what, by the way, soldered uh, a bottom plate, so when we pour the juice in, it doesn't just leak out. And there's also some solder stuck in the bottom. You know what they say, a little toxic waste. It's almost good for you these days. And then we're gonna place, obviously, with the Pelthier modules like this, these wires are just for tensioning, you will see it later. This is what a Pelfia module looks like in a thermal camera. As you can see, one side is totally black, very cold, and the other side is smoking hot. Not unlike me. Now, now it's just a waiting game, okay? Negative four or five degrees Celsius is clearly not enough to solidify water instantaneously with the small amount of metal that we have. The P-modules that we are using right now is rated at 300 watts total, that's all four. These are 180 watts each, I only have three of them, so we're gonna use a fourth one that is just a normal one. That will be 650 watts total. Okay, let's make some freeze water. I mean, ice cream. Will it instantly freeze the orange juice? Uh, no, probably, no, no, it definitely. What is going on? I've never had this happen before. The heat sink is absolutely demolished. 
How does it take a guy 10 minutes to realize it's, it's not working? Alright, this um, this is about all you're gonna get. I guess that worked, but it sucked pretty hard. And I guess the main reason that is, is because the bottom bottom side of this profile is getting de-iced very quickly when we pour the liquid in. Uh, however, the top section continues to be iced, which means that the temperature difference is not transferring to the liquid. And that's a problem because we want the low temperature to go into the liquid and not stay on the metal block. So I'm gonna do some reconfiguration and hopefully we'll get a much better and more effective design. So the heat sinks won't get as high of a temperature, thus increasing the cool, uh, the cool temperature on the other side of the Peltier. So it gets more effective that way. And number two is, these power supplies are only 20 amps, and each of these Peltier devices are 15 amps. So currently we have a total amperage of 45 amps. And I don't have enough of these China power delivery things, and that's... And that is why I use these batteries, because they can deliver a lot more current, and uh, it kind of works. All right, let's turn this on and monitor the temperature. And if it gets low enough, we'll make some juice ice cream. What is that? Wow, the temperature is dropping so fast. In like 30 seconds, we're down to five degrees. That's pretty good. Um, all right, we're down to 11 degrees in just about three minutes, which I uh, figure is pretty good. Dude, that is frozen solid. Okay, there you have it people. This is the most fun, infuriating, and most ineffective, disgusting way of making an ice cream possible. There's even some compound, I'm not sure you can see it. There's some compound stuck on the ice cream. There's literally solder stuck on the edge. I'm, I'm straight up a little nervous to try this. It's, I don't think metal poisoning is so good for you. If you too would like to taste this delicious ice cream, then go out to your garden and find a chunk of steel and start to suck it. That's, that's pretty much how it is. Thanks for watching this video. If this was the most useless thing you've ever seen in your life, give it a like. See you again soon, guys.